Good evening to you again. Tracking the strong cold front moving into the areas. We're turning colder tonight. Look for strong winds again through the daytime tomorrow. In many areas, it'll be windier tomorrow than today. And of course, you'll feel every bit of it because of that colder temperature and chilly and sunny as we head into the upcoming weekend. Cloud cover is moving through, but notice a large break in the clouds over southwestern Kansas. All these showers lifting off to the northeast and the whole system snowing around Denver, almost to the Kansas border now. That's all lifting northeast toward the Dakota where snow is developing all across South Dakota now, and that'll continue to move up toward Minnesota. The system is moving north of us. If you look out uh, right now at Prairie Band Casino, we've got the clouds moving overhead, the front getting closer into the region. Gorgeous evening, though, with those high clouds. We had a beautiful sunrise, and now almost as nice of a sunset in Junction City as well as in Topeka. You can see that nice orange highlighting there. 73 degrees right now, tied the record of 76 after a morning low of only 64 degrees. It's already down to 55 at Concordia, 59 for Clay Center in Marysville, and 70 to 75 over the eastern half of the area as that front marches into the area, turning the winds to the north at Marysville and Concordia, even at Salina, northwest now in Manhattan, but southerly over all of the eastern counties. That front starting to move in. It will get more of a push on it. As we take a look at future track, finally getting that push through the area tonight, 6 a.m. in the morning, winds are around 20, 25 miles per hour out of the west and northwest, and we stay that windy all day, and it will feel a lot colder as daytime wind chills are really going to have a hard time improving much with winds this strong through the day. The winds will finally let up as we head into Saturday morning, but rather chilly by that point. Future track wind chill tonight, 60s on one side of the front. 30s and low 40s on the other, but as that front pushes through, most of the area should see a wind chill tomorrow morning in the 20s and not much improvement. Warmest wind chill tomorrow into the mid to upper 30s, followed by another just enough of a breeze that another very cold night Friday night into Saturday morning. It'll feel like it's down into the lower 20s. So tonight, wind chills will dip to near 30 in some areas into the 20s by morning with a low temperature of 42 and the winds turning to the west and eventually northwest at about 15 to 30 miles per hour. We'll look at your KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast temperatures over the next several days. Well, they're certainly going to take that dive down into the 40s for the next couple of days. And we'll look for temperatures 42 tomorrow morning, but as that colder air really builds in, 25 for Saturday morning and 24 on Sunday morning. Sunday, we start to rebound back into the 50s, and a good chance for some scattered showers moves in Monday night into Tuesday, maybe wrapping up Wednesday morning. And then as we head into Thanksgiving already on the seven day forecast. It's getting close. It'll certainly finally start feeling that way too, as all next week high temperatures will be in the 50s, much more of what you'd expect for a week in mid to late November. Gorgeous start to the day. This one taken from Austin Mingi and uh, Lauren Buchanan in Topeka. Also, a view in Manhattan a little bit later in the morning from Daryl Penland. And it started the day from Cheryl Crowther in Manhattan. A gorgeous view of the morning sky. Another one, this one, along the Wakarusa River from Linda Weber. And one more in Topeka from Mary Shivers. I tell you what, that sunrise this morning, I happened to catch a glimpse of it as I was getting my kids out the door to school and coming through the window. And it was one of those that you walked by like, wow, wow that's, a, <laughs> that's an amazing How did you double take? Yeah, but I think uh, the nice one out there this evening, all of those usually though good indicators on those high clouds around, the big changes around the way. Well, that is certainly taking place as we're not, we're going to see the dry passage of that front. It'll turn much colder, but there's other areas that have really been 